Welcome back to Extinction, everybody. Uh, I got myself a Parasaur now, just kind of a pack mule. Tamed it uh, just a little while ago. It was actually a tech Parasaur, and it was running around my little area where I was building my base. And so then I decided I need a flyer to go out and check out some of these areas up above. So found myself a Tapajara. Not a very good one, it's only level 40, but it was, uh, you know, the low-lying fruit. It was easy to get, it was just sitting on the ground. I boloed it and smacked it with a club a few times, and here it is. Waiting on it to uh, tame now. While we're waiting on that, I wanted to try... Can I get a closer look at one of those guys? I swear that's like a drone or something. Um, one thing I noticed... I got metal tools now. I, I guess I should mention that. We got metal in the last episode, and I, I started smelting it uh, in the forge. I noticed these are harvestable. Like, when you get close to them, the little pick icon shows up on the right there. Like, we can harvest these. Oh, my God. Element dust, crystal, and scrap metal. Well, that's new. I don't know what we can do. Oh, it can be refined in a forge. Well, there you go. Maybe we can get more metal that way. And element dust, I assume we can make element or element shards from yes all right cool oh that's awesome i got to keep an eye out for those lamp posts around oh there's another one over there back towards my base all right sweet i'm gonna go around and see if i can find a few more oh, there's one over there i think there's actually i saw some crystal over there as well when i was uh oh an anki that'd be good to have but don't need a really low level one like that let me see all right yeah this is just crystal here this is probably going to be more blue, uh, green gems, yep. Hey, there's a metal node right there, sweet. Break that up. Where's the other light? Here we go, lamp post. I wonder if these come back, if they're... If they respawn like, uh, most of the other lootable objects, like the metal nodes and the iron nodes, things like that in the game, or, or stone and crystal... I wonder if they will spawn back after so often. Uh, but yeah, we're waiting here on this Tapajero to uh, finish taming. Um, I'm going to go take this metal... Oh! Well, hello there, little fella. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take all this metal back and this uh, element dust and everything back while we're waiting on this guy to tame. Well, you're just going to follow me around? I may knock you out and take you with me. Oh, he's only level 12. Too bad, little Pteranodon. Alright, so I just found a tech Stegosaurus over here, not very far from where I tamed that uh, Tapajero was just over there on that ridge. Uh, found two of them, actually. That one's like a level 24, and this is a level 80 or 81? 81. So yeah, we should we should go after this one right here. I kind of want to get it away from that little bird there that likes to steal your stuff. Um, and I got my Pariser set to passive, and he's not following me anymore, so he won't be involved in the fight, and I just kind of got to... Make sure there's nothing around here. We're going to give this a shot, see if we can get this guy. Basically, to tame the tech uh, dinos, it's the same as taming anything else. So you just kind of want to hit it with your trank arrows until it falls asleep, and then uh, feed it the correct food that it likes. In this case, it'll be mayo berries, uh, since I don't know what kibble it likes, and I can't make kibble right now. Anyways, I don't have any vegetables. I hope I've got enough arrows. I didn't consider that, but this being a relatively high level on me, not have enough. Right over here is my base again. Back to almost back there. Keep my distance till this big girl goes down. Grab some water. Probably should have set up a platform or something to be able to shoot her from safety, but I didn't. <laughs> there she goes. All right, she's falling asleep now. A couple more shots and she should go down. Good, because I am out of arrows. Crap! Let me get out the club, make sure she goes down. Smack her in the face a couple times. Oh, that didn't work.
Once they start running, you know, they're they're low on either hit points or torpor. Oh, come on. Oh, my club broke. I've got some more arrows. Let me... Oh, you know what? I could craft some more. Oh, gosh. I was trying to save those to, uh... Those narcotics to... I was trying to save them to uh, use it to keep her asleep while she was taming. All right. I left my poor Pariser way out there in the middle of nowhere. That's okay. I was just using it as a pack animal. This would be a better fighter. Hold still, big girl. There she is. One more shot is all I needed. Finally. All right. Now I got to gather some uh, mayho berries because I had them all on my Pariser, which is way back out there in the middle of nowhere. So actually, I'm in the middle of nowhere now. I'm not 100% sure where I'm at. I just know my base is back that way. So, feed this big girl a bunch of berries, and uh, we'll get her tamed up and get her back to base, and we'll have a nice little collection of dinos going in. Huh, this might have been a cooler waterfall to build at. <laughs> Just found this. This is uh, actually right next to where that stego is. The stegosaurus is right up the hill there. Just over the hill, you can't see it, but she's laying there uh, taming. I had time to go get my Pariser and all that. Plenty of time. I even made a saddle for the stego once uh, it wakes up. I'll have a saddle ready. Um, oh, crap! Oh, that's not good. Caprosuchus in the water. Never mind. This is not a good place to build a base in. <laughs> I take back everything I said. Let's get out of here. Oh, I hate those things. I just thought that that glowy bit over there was cool, and so I came to look at it, and there's a whole lake down here. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at this. I decided to circle around and came a little bit closer to it, after all. Um, I'm not sure that I want to get in that. It looks like a black hole! Oh, crap. What now? Oh, it's a piranha. <laughs> it looks like a black hole or something. It's really strange. Oh, no. It's just like the reflection. Wow. Alright, well, we can't seem to interact with it at all. It just looks really awesome. Let's get back and check on that Stego. She might be getting close to done. I gotta be careful this area. Both, I, I gotta, I need to come back here because there are frogs here. Uh, and I may want to tame a frog. In fact, I think I just saw one hopping around right here next to the water. Yeah, there's one right there in the water. But there's also snakes and uh, the alligators and stuff, so we gotta be careful of that. But a nice little area here to find. Might be a pretty cool place to set up a base if we if we needed an alternate location, although it is a bit more dangerous over here. Alright, back here at the base. Got the Stego finished up. She's finally tamed. Uh, made some additions to the base here. Kind of finished out the bottom floor, put some ramps, make it easier to get in and out of. Uh, it's not letting me place any floors right here, which is kind of what I wanted anyways, to have this glowing into the base. Uh, it won't let me place one right here, which is kind of unfortunate so that it would look nice, but uh, for now we'll just have to compromise. Me stick a, uh, a ramp going upstairs here so that it'll kind of cover up that hole. But anyways, um, I have finally got the Tapajero saddle made. I got enough metal and gained enough levels to craft the saddle, so now... He's got some meat on him. Let's see, we need to get him some weight. Because these guys are good at carrying weight. Oh, it's not a lot, though. Uh, stamina is always good on any flyer. Uh, of course, health, a little bit of health won't hurt either. All right. Let's take off. All right, done, done. Finish your animation there. All right, cool. We got our flyer now. I love the look of these tapageros. I like them better than... Uh, most any other flyer, maybe the Griffin is as good because it, these carry more weight. Plus, they can land on the surfaces, so like you can land on vertical surfaces with these guys, which makes them amazing. You can fight from the saddle on them too. So, I like these a lot more than uh, just the standard Pteranodons. But now we are up here. What is going on up in this area? Wow, this place is huge. <laughs> Oh, look, there's a little garden in here. This must have been a park at one time, right? Ooh, there's another one of those... Terminals. What can we do here? Oh, yeah, we can... We can make the, um... Turn that element dust into element. 
Oh, that's cool. I wonder how much it takes. Probably like 100 element dust to make one element. But still, um, element dust does not... Well, it stacks. I mean, it doesn't... It doesn't spoil, so until I get enough and need it, I don't need any element, obviously, for a while, because that's for the advanced tech stuff, but now we have a flyer. It gives us a lot more mobility. Um, that is where we got attacked by that uh, crocodile alligator down there, whatever they're... Uh, Caprosuchus, or whatever they're called down there. Right over there is where he tamed the stego. So, wow. All right, we're able to get around a lot more now. Uh, here is another exit from the main uh, city. And it goes out into a wasteland as well. I kind of want to take a peek at it. Be careful not to get my new bird killed here. Is that a griffin, speaking of? Or an Argentavis, I mean. Not a griffin. Yeah, that's an Argentavis. Huh. Wow, you get a much better view from up here. And get a better feel for the scope of the city. That, uh, that once was, anyways. Crumbled, decaying ruins. Oh, my bird's low on stamina. Let me land him and gain some stamina back. Probably want to pump some more points into stamina with this guy. Yeah. Oh, look at that over there. Oh, hurry up and gain your stamina points back, buddy. It's like a skyscrapers oh that is so cool look at that though the red obelisk wow all right yeah all the cool stuff is gonna happen outside the city is as awesome as the city looks uh all the cool stuff is gonna happen out in those other little isolated they almost look like little separate arcs out there I mean, that looks like its own little separate arc. See, it's got a wall, a retaining wall around it. I think it might be an arc. Wow, that's cool. I mean, if that's the way they're doing this... See, the, the way the story works is you, you left Earth uh, and you go to this arc, uh, the original island, and uh, you're trying to uh, survive and eventually escape there to get back here to Earth uh, to try and save, I guess, is what our ultimate objective is, to save the Earth from the this extinction <laughs> event. Whatever happened, uh, some sort of corruption has spread across the creatures and the dinosaurs, the creatures here and everything. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try and flesh out the story a little bit more as we figure it out, but uh, that is awesome. I want to go out there... Figure out how we get into that, but it's probably a wasteland area. Pretty dangerous, I'm sure. That'll have to wait for another episode, though. That's all the time we've got for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more art content. Hit that thumbs up button if you like this video. Post me any comments or questions down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.